hi guys welcome back to another video <clears throat> so um in the last video i put up we talked about sorry we solved some questions under menstruation and then this one length and perimeter seems um very similar it's just that we're starting to focus on length and perimeter so in this uh tutorial you won't be seeing things like areas and volumes okay i think this will just help you to strengthen your knowledge um in this area so let's get into it question one says that you have, have a diagram of a um, trapezium here and it says calculate the perimeter of the trapezium pqrs this is the trapezium pqrs now the idea of perimeter is addition of all the sides right and if you notice here we don't have all the length of our side so we have four centimeter here which is the same as the value here four centimeter right it's just that we don't have the length of this place the whole length so I know that here to here is 18 centimeter. That means that here to here is also 18 centimeter. But we don't have this value. Okay. So let's start by sketching out this um right angle triangle here. This is four centimeter. This is five centimeter. So what do you think this value will be? Like using Pythagoras theorem. Now I don't want to go ahead and use Pythagoras theorem, but if you do, you'll have three centimeter because these are Pythagoras triples. Okay. So if here is three centimeter, that means that this whole the whole length of the bottom here is 21 centimeter which is 18 plus 3 right so now that we have all the length of our side we go ahead and add that so that means that the perimeter of this trapezium is equal to starting from here we have 5 plus 18 plus 4 plus 21 four sides all of this in centimeter right um 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 21 is 30 30 plus 18 is 48 centimeter and that's option c um question number two says the diagonal and one side of a square are x and y units respectively find an expression for y in terms of x now let me just draw out my square very quickly so um it says the diagonal so the diagonal here is x and one side is y now, when it says one side of a square is y, does that not mean that all the other sides are y? It does because um, a square has equal side, does it not? So it says find an expression for y in terms of x. So we're asked to find sort of like a relationship between i and um, between y and x. So y is supposed to equal, um, be equal to something that is also related to x. Now, um, if I take this as a take, bring out a right angle triangle from here. I have that here is y, here is y, and here is x, is it not? Now, what this means is that I put, I put an as which is x, x square is equals to y square plus y square, is it not? Yeah, let's continue. So that means that x square is equal to 2y square, right? If I divide both sides by 2 here, I have that y square is equals to x square over 2. If I take the square root of both sides, I have that y square, sorry, y is equal to x all over the square root of 2. Yeah, we already have that. We have b, y is equal to x all over the square root of 2. Um, our third question, question number 3, says the diagonal of a rhombus are 12 centimeter <coughs> and 5 centimeter. Find the perimeter. Now, we saw the question like this in the last video where we talked about menstruation. But in that question, we're asked to find the area of the um diagonal right of the rhombus but this time around we are asked to find the perimeter which is addition of um all the sides all the four sides of the rhombus right so let's start by drawing out okay <clears throat> so we are told that the diagonal is 12 centimeters so i'm going to assume that this longer side is 12 centimeters so that means that here is six centimeter which is half and the other half is six centimeter and if this whole thing is five centimeter that means that here is 2.5 and here is also um 2.5 centimeters okay i'm going to take out one of these um values right and use it to find the length of the side right which would be the same for everything because you have 2.56 6 2.5 6 2.5 for all the um for all the opposite and adjacent of all the right angle triangles that make up this rhombus right so if you take out one and find the length of the side and you multiply that side by four you should be able to have the value of your perimeter so this is um 2.5 and this is six centimeter so let's call this our x <coughs> so using pythagoras theorem your x square should be equal to 2.5 squared plus six squared 
2.5 square, which is 2.5 times 2.5, would give you 6.25 plus, this marker is, plus 6 square is 36. Okay, so here you have um 42.25. Okay, but you still have to find the square root of u. So x is equal to the square root of 42.25, and that would give you the 6. Um, 0.5 so the length of one side is 6.5 centimeter now all these other sides are also 6.5 centimeter so that means that your area your perimeter rather is equal to 6.5 multiplied by 4 and that should give you 26 centimeter which is option a oh wow interestingly we have a circle here question number four says what is the length of the minor arc so um this is the center of our circle right this is radius this is the radius there's a large arc and there's a smaller arc here. We have to find the length of this um, small arc. Okay. So how you this is like a fraction of the perimeter of a circle. And the perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. Right? So for you to find this fraction, all you need to multi multiply that 2 pi r by, by the angle of this um chord over 360, over total angle of a circle, which is 360. So your formula becomes theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So theta here is 150 degrees all over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by our radius which is 4.2 centimeter which we can write as 42 over 10 right just so that we can cancel out um the common values i know that 10 can go here to give 15 right um i think 2 can go here to give 180 um 2 can go here to give 11 um, 2 can go here to give 90, and 2 can go here to give um, 21. 7 can go here 1, 7 can go here 3. Um, okay, I think 5 can divide this one, so 5 can go here to give 3. 5 can go in 90 to give 18. Um, what, what is left? Okay, so 3 can go here to give 1, 3 can go here to give 6. So we are left with, oh, we are not done. 3 can go here to give... Um, 1 and 3 can go here to give 2. So we are left with um, Okay, so 2 can also come to this 2. <laughs> so we are left with 11 <laughs> 11 centimeter, which is option A. Now you can just press this values into the calculator and solve because I believe that you're using calculator for this um, test, for this exam rather. So <clears throat> instead of wasting time like I did, because this is an objective test question and you want to be as fast as possible. Question number five, second to the last question for today, we have an interesting diagram here, and it says, in that diagram, this angle, um, ZYW, so I, I believe he's referring to this one, Z, sorry, ZWY, so ZWY is um, a right angle, and WYX is also a right angle. It says, find the perimeter of w x y z so the perimeter of the whole um figure okay which is the addition of the sides so i can say that we have this size here right but we don't have um this one and for us to find the length of this side is like treating this one as the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle which means that we also need the side and this side is also the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle okay so now we have to first find this one now when I see 4 and 3, I know that my hypotenuse is 5 cm, okay? You can try to solve this using um, Pythagoras theorem. I'm sure you'll get um, the same values, just 5 cm. So now that we have 5 and 12, we can find our hypotenuse here. Our hypotenuse here refers to x square is equal to um, 5 square plus 12 square. 5 square is 25, 12 square is 144. <clears throat> if you add these two, you should have 169. If x squared is equal to 169, that means that x is equal to 13, I believe, because 13 times 13 should give you 169. So the length of this side here is 13 centimeters, right? So now we can add our four um, sides together to find the perimeter of the figure. So we have, starting from here, and moving like this, we have perimeter is equal to 4 centimeter plus 13 centimeter plus 12 centimeter plus 3 centimeter. <clears throat> I know that these two should give me 25 centimeter. And this should give me 7 cm. So I have, um, this should be 32 cm for my perimeter. Do we have that among the options? Yes, option B, 32 cm is the perimeter of this shape. So we have our very last question here. It says, 
um the rect a rectangle width with 3.4 um centimeters so let me just sketch out a rectangle here very quickly so the width of this rectangle which is the shorter side is three over four three quarter centimeter okay and the area is three whole number three over eight centimeter square find the length the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is length times breadth is it not so to write this out we're having length times 3 over 4 is equal to 3 whole number 3 over 8. So that means that your length is equal to 3 whole number 3 over 8 divided by 3.4. Right? Now let's convert this one to mixed fraction. 8 times 3, 24. 24 plus 3 is um, 27 over 8 divided by 3 over 4. Now to eliminate this division sign, all we have to do is to invert this um, fraction that is after the sign. So this becomes 27 over 8 times 4 over 3. And now we can just cancel out what's common. 3 here 1, 3 here 9, 4 here 1, 4 here 2. We are left with 9 over 2, which is the same as 4 whole number 1 over 2 centimeter, which is option B. So um, that's all for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. We will be talking <coughs> about areas and um, volumes.